Meet Bill de Blasio, mayor of New York since 2014. De Blasio's position in the most powerful office in the nation's largest city ought to concern every American. One doesn't have to look far to find a substantial track record of corruption and ties to radical groups. In 1988, de Blasio traveled to Nicaragua, where he came to support the Russian-backed Sandinista National Liberation Front, the socialist dictatorship opposed by the American government and internationally criticized for human rights abuses, mass executions, and oppression of indigenous peoples. Upon returning to New York, de Blasio raised money for the Sandinistas and volunteered at the pro-Sandinista Nicaragua Solidarity Network of Greater New York. He also honeymooned in Cuba, in violation of the United States ban on travel to that communist nation. In May 2013, de Blasio wallowed in fourth place, a long shot in the Democratic primary, but then came a fateful endorsement from the executive council of SEIU 1199, New York's local branch of the Service Employees International Union. SEIU 1199 donated hundreds of thousands of dollars to the de Blasio campaign and spent $2 million in mailers to get its 200,000 members to the polls. The union got what it paid for. SEIU 1199's president was rewarded with a spot on de Blasio's transition team, which unsurprisingly filled the administration with many of the union's members. De Blasio is also tied to the now defunct Association of Community Organizations for Reform Now, a group whose members have been convicted of voter registration fraud. De Blasio and ACORN leader Bertha Lewis met every month to talk about strategy and getting out the vote. Of course, a group involved in voter registration fraud helping with get out the vote efforts is deeply concerning. De Blasio was also a client of public relations and campaign communications consulting firm Berlin Rosen, which was co-founded by former ACORN employee Valerie Berlin. After de Blasio was elected mayor, Berlin Rosen helped set up and manage the Campaign for One New York to promote his agenda. The nonprofit took substantial sums from entities with business before the city, including the American Federation of Teachers, which was involved in contract negotiations at the time. The AFT has supported rubber rooms for teachers in New York, rooms where teachers involved in misconduct go to get paid while they do no teaching at all, since the union has made them too difficult to fire. Ever wonder what it would be like if radical unions and their allies gained control of New York City? Wonder no more, Bill de Blasio is in charge. To learn more, read the full article on our website. I'm Dr. Stephen J. Allen. Thanks for watching.